My name is Sonia Livingstone and I uh, teach at LSE in the Department of Media and Communications. Children's rights are really human rights. We all have rights to uh, live and thrive, um, to be safe, um, to be able to express ourselves, uh, to get an education, to uh, enjoy our family life. I think we recognise this is everyone's right. Um, but sometimes people forget that that includes children. So it's really important to remind ourselves children are included in that. And the Convention on the Rights of the Child gives them some special rights as well. The right to be heard uh, in matters that affect them. The right to be treated according to their age and what they're able to do. The right to play. And the right to develop, develop to their fullest. So 1989 is a long time ago and the world has changed in really important ways and the way that I've been interested is how technology and especially everything to do with the internet and smartphones and apps and digital networks, all of those things have really come into our lives since 1989 uh, and that raises lots of really interesting questions about how those rights in the convention work in a digital world? What is playing in a digital world? What is privacy in a digital world? What is family life when we need, you know, um, our phones to connect us? So it's a kind of way of thinking about how all those rights that children, people have always had, um, uh, have to apply in a world that is always changing. I think it's vital and that's what they all say when I talk to them and when uh, the policy makers with the power to make decisions about children you know, when they consult children, children all around the world say the digital world, digital technology is really important, we need access, we need um, the kind of know-how to use it really well. Uh, it needs to be fair and safe and, you know, it's really important. How could, how could we live and learn without it? Can we imagine a childhood without play? I think we immediately see how really important play is. But often people, especially adults, think about play as something you do outside in a muddy field with a ball or maybe climbing trees. They don't think about it in relation to digital technologies. Uh, so during lockdown i've been interviewing uh, children and young people about playing and they're playing yes games but they're playing all kinds of things online they're playing with zoom they're playing um you know games with family members who are in other cities or other parts of the world um there's a lot of playfulness in relation to what we do online out of out of difficulty we um, can sometimes find the grounds for hope when people get engaged and young people, children are really engaged about all of those issues, about building better after the pandemic, after um, about um, climate change, and I think also about their digital rights, about recognising how important that is for their future. I don't know how hopeful I feel because I think there's a lot of problems in the world right now, but I do find hope in the way in which children and young people are themselves kind of trying to be heard and protesting. They are protesting about climate change and demanding that adults um, make the changes needed so that those young people can grow up and have a future to look forward to. Out of difficulty, we um, can sometimes find the grounds for hope when people get engaged and young people, children are really engaged about all of those issues, about building better after the pandemic, after um, about um, climate change, and I think also about their digital rights, about recognising how important that is for their future.